Hi and welcome to Online Appliance Tech. Today we're going to show you how to test and fix your main control board for your Vino Temp wine cooler. So this is the main relay that activates the compressor. So if your compressor is not turning on, pretty sure it's this relay. So right here you have the relay which is activated by the 12 DC volts. And once activated, it transfers power from the input power to the output power to the compressor. It's like a light switch in a way. So this is my compressor output wire. And if you want to test if you have a multimeter, you can put your red prong there and put your neutral prong on the ground. And if you're not getting power output, more than likely it's your relay. So like I said, you activate the 12 DC and then it sends power from one source to the other. So that's your main power supply. In and activate and out. So let's test it. Let's connect the 12 DC to the relay. If you don't have this power supply source, you can uh, use two 9 volt batteries and put them together. And so my red and my white is actually my 12 volts coming from my machine and then the green and the yellow is I'm jumping from one leg to the other to see if I have continuity. In this case it's a bad so I should jump back and forth. But and like I said in this case it says open line meaning it's a bad relay because I do have my 12 DC volts to activate this relay. Okay, let's go over it one more time just so you can understand and make sure that this is your problem and this is why your compressor is not turning on. So your white and your red, this is your 12 DC volts. Like I said, you can use two 9 volt batteries and put them together to make the correct voltage. Um, and then the yellow and the green, you should have it jump across. So if you listen closely, you can hear a click and it should be reading 000. In this case, it's not. So we do know this is a bad relay. Okay, let's remove the relay. You'll need a desoldering gun and a solder sucker. This will make the job easier. I will leave these in the description below if interested. So here's the two here. You'll have to remove the two here. These two I do remove, the other two, but you don't have to. You'll see here. Where I messed up this way you don't make the same mistake so you'll take your gun once it's nice and hot and let me see if I can show you you'll get it to the point where it's, it gets to the a liquid state and then you'll put your desoldering sucker on top of it and press the button and it'll remove the solder from a spot There we go. And just repeat the same steps to remove the solder from the remaining joints. Okay, so get to a liquid state with your iron gun, I would say. And then you'll suck the solder out. So to activate this pump, you just press it down and it resets itself and you press the yellow button to suck it out. So a lot of people think circuit board repair is complicated, but just removing a basic relay like this is nothing major. So these are the two I remove, well, was tempted to remove where I shouldn't have. So disregard removing these two.
So here's when I realized I did two that I should not have. So I have to re-solder them together. But this is okay. This is a good way to show you how it's done. So sometimes when you try to pull the relay out, sometimes it'll stick to the side and you have to get it a little warmed up to pull it the rest of the way out. Or you can just re use your desoldering sucker again to remove the remainder. It's up to you. So there we go. We have the broken relay. So you have your 12 volt activates. It goes back and forth like this. Okay, so now I'm gonna fill back in these holes with solder. So I'm gonna take my iron and put it against the pin. Once the pin gets warm and then, I guess you would say warm enough or liquefied, I'm gonna put my soldering wick against the iron in the joint. As it starts to liquefy, I lift straight up. Because the video swings itself. But one thing I do like to do is make sure it kind of sucks it into the board and lift straight up. Like I put my iron gun against the little pin and lift it in the up position. That way it gives it that little TP look. So these are the four that the relay goes into right here. So once you have the relay off, you can test it way easier. So like I said, you can put two 9 volt batteries together, which would be 14, would be okay. To activate it, then you put your little alligator clips to the 12 to activate the relay. And then you will jump, actually I messed up here, I have my white one. It actually goes down at the bottom because it's my 12 DC. There we go, like this. And then you can either touch your multimeter on the other two pins or you can also use alligator clips so it holds in place. So I'm going to turn it on, turn my multimeter on ohms, and click it. As you can see it says open line. So that basically tells me my power is not jumping from my green to my yellow. So yes, it is a battery leak. So like, like I said, once you have the relay off, it's easier to test than inside the board or on the board. Here's the part number. I will leave this also in the description below. So if you need this relay and want to attempt it, I will leave it with all the other tools. So this is another relay. This is a good relay, and I'll show you exactly how it should work. Same concept. I'm going to connect my white and my red for my 12DC. And put my green and my yellow. So as I power up this relay, you can see it jumps and then I have continuity. So that tells me that this is a good relay. So what happens over time when you're starting like a compressor or some type of bigger part, it will mess up the internal of the relay and it will click together but the corrosion on the inside of the relay doesn't allow the power to flow. And that's why you have a non-cooling unit like a no tip compressor. So this puts the relay in the holes that kind of fits. This this relay is not the right relay. It works, but it's not the right one. But I just wanted to show you how to reinstall a new relay. Okay, so once you have your relay in place, put something underneath it so you can kind of have leverage so you can kind of press down on the board to put your uh, solder back in the joints of the holes. So this is the wick. I would recommend just cutting it off. As you'll see, I'll do this here soon. Uh, that way you don't have to worry about holding the whole tube. And then I'll kind of get it ready and I'll have get my gun and then I'll just warm up. a liquid state and once it gets hot enough I'll put my wick against it and there we go so 
uh, warm up the joint. I put my gun against the uh, prong, I guess you would say. And then I would let it suck into the joint and lift straight up. Give me some more. And there we go. So everything looks good. Nice clean joints. So let's retest it with the new relay inside the board. There we go. We have continuity. And if you're having trouble finding the main control board is on the left hand side of the compressor in a little department. Here's a picture of where this one was located. Left hand side, bottom left. Well I hope this video was helpful and please like and subscribe for more future tips and videos. Have a good day.